Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all my version for a Trini fried rice. If you guys wanna see how to make this delicious fried rice, keep watching. So guys, to start this recipe, I'm using my wok. If you don't own a wok, just use a big pot. Today, I'll be using the garlic infused coconut oil from CGA Limited. Just going with a little bit of that. I want to make sure that your wok is nice and hot or your pot is nice and hot when you're doing this. Okay, I'm going to go in with my garlic and ginger. And I have my heat on a medium. You don't want to burn this, guys. You just want it to get very fragrant in here. In goes some pimento peppers. And if you didn't have pimento pepper, you can use a red jalapeno. Now to this I'm going in with some chopped onions. I know a lot of you watching are going to say you don't like to put onions because it can spoil. I've never had an instance where I've made fried rice with onions and it's spoiled. So if you wanted to omit the onions, of course you can. We just want to make sure that the onions cook properly before we add any other ingredients. So I'm going to let that cook for about a minute. And remember as I said, it's optional, you can omit it. To the onions, I'm going to go in with some chopped carrots and you can use whatever vegetables you have on hand to make this. Give that a mix. I want the carrots to get halfway tender before I add in my sweet pepper and other vegetables. I'm going in with a little bit of salt to season the carrots and the onions. You want to season your when you're cooking, you season as you go to build flavor. So let that go for about a minute. Now goes in the chopped sweet peppers. And my chopped celery, and I'm using Chinese celery for this. The Chinese celery has a more of a pungent, strong, aromatic flavor to it. It has a really nice taste compared to the regular celery. So if you can get um, this one, the Chinese celery, use it. I'm just going to mix that in and let that saute for a little, about a minute. We want the sweet peppers to cook and the celery to cook, but you don't want your vegetables to get mushy. Okay, now it's time to go in with the rice, and I have my rice pre-cooked ahead of time. All I did was boil the two cups of parboiled rice until it was slightly al dente. You don't want to boil it until it's very, very soft. Okay, now it's time to add some flavor. So to this, I'm going to go in with some oyster sauce, or you can use some vegetarian stir-fry sauce. I'm also going to go in with some soy sauce and I'm using dark soy sauce so if you're using dark go light on the soy sauce in goes some fried rice seasoning whatever fried rice seasoning you have on hand I'm going to go in with my favorite JGM Chinese seasoning and this one we get it from Trinidad you can use whatever Chinese seasoning you have on hand and I would leave the measurements to make your own at home if you don't have it and I'm going in with some chief Chinese salt and this is a Guyanese product and now all I have to do is give this a toss Start mixing all of those seasonings Sometimes what I like to do is I'll put in a piece of golden ring But that is totally optional if you wanted more color on your fry rice feel free to add some more soy sauce but you want to add it in small amounts and mix because it can get dark really quickly if you're using dark soy sauce. So to finish this, I like going over the top with some freshly chopped scallions and that same Chinese parsley. Once you add that, give it a quick toss. So and after you've mixed that in, I'm going to go in with a little bit of sesame oil. The last thing I'm adding is the sesame oil. This is going to add so much more flavor to this and mix that in it already smells very fragrant once mixed in all we have to do is serve 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Remember, you can use any type of vegetables you want in this mix veg, but whatever you have in your home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to stay safe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.